Hey guys, so um, you get to see my hands today. We'll be a hand model. So some people have been asking about the decimals that we did yesterday. And so I wanna give you a little update so that you can remember what we're talking about, okay? So if we think about this as being one whole, this right here equals one, okay? This is one block and it equals one. So I'm gonna grab a marker and I'm gonna actually write on it. Okay, so this is one. Okay, so that's one whole. And that's just like if we were gonna write the number one. There it is, one. Oh, that marker doesn't work too good. Oh well, it's because I just wrote with something. But that would be a one, okay? So this, we would write it as a whole number, the number one. But we can take this right here and we can break it up into pieces. And that's where our decimals come in. Decimals, and I hope this isn't upside down, it might be. And if it is, you get to read upside down. Okay, so we can take our one block and we can break it up into 10. Okay, because watch, if I take my little rods right here and I put them on top, there's 10 of them. Watch, I'll count them out for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So there's 10 that make the one. Okay, there's 10 that make the one. So these 10 right here equals this one. That 10 equals that one, okay? So now I'm gonna take my one away. And I want you to think about these right here. I have taken that one and I have broken it up into pieces. Okay, I've broken it up into pieces. And I broke it up into 10 pieces. So if we're thinking about a fraction, we would think that there are 10 pieces that make the one whole. There are 10 pieces that make the one whole. And how many did we have to use? We had to use 10, 10 pieces, okay? So if I think about it, it's 10 out of 10. Well, what if I got rid of nine of the 10 and I only kept one little rod like that? I kept one little rod. I kept one out of the 10. I kept one out of the 10. And the way that we write that in a decimal is we write it as decimal point one. And we say it one tenth. Just like that. This is one tenth as a fraction. And this is one tenth as a decimal and they mean exactly the same thing. One tenth as a fraction and one tenth as a decimal mean the same thing. So this number right here, we would say it as one tenth, one out of 10, one tenth. We would say this exactly the same way, one tenth. But we didn't have to use the bar, we used the decimal point to represent that it was just part of a whole. Okay, that's one tenth. So if I didn't have one, but let's use three this time. Okay, let's use three. Remember they all started from the whole and then we figured out that 10 of them made the whole. So we knew that each one of these is one tenth, one tenth, one tenth. Well, how many do I have? Well, I have three out of the 10, because remember there was 10 all together. So this is it written in fraction form. And to write it in decimal form, remember we don't use the line, we use the decimal point. And how many do I have? Three. So we would call that three tenths. Just like we have it here, three tenths. We would say it three tenths the same way. Okay, we would say it the same way. And so anytime we add more or we take more away, we just count how many tenths do we have. 
Well, if we have three and say I add two more, so now how many tenths do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I have five tenths. So to write it as a decimal, it would be five tenths. Five tenths. And if I were writing it as a fraction, it would be five tenths. Okay, they mean exactly the same thing. It's just two different ways to write it. Okay, two different ways to write it. It means exactly the same thing. All right, so part of your work, you had to do a comparison of tenths or a comparison of decimals. So say we had, let's do this. Say we had these over here. I'll spread them out so you can see how many they are. There's those. And say we had this. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so we're gonna do a comparison. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four tenths. So I'd write it as four tenths. And over here I have one, two, three, four, five tenths. Five tenths. And this time it was asking you, okay, is it greater than, less than, or equal to? Okay. So you have to remember your signs. Your signs, the small end points to the small number. The big end points to the big number, okay? Small, small, big, big. So this is how you would write it. Four tenths is less than five tenths. Four tenths is less than five tenths. Okay, let me try another one with you. What if I had over there, let's see how I did. Okay, over there, that's what I'm gonna put over there. And then, oh, that one's got a magnet stuck on it. And then over here, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this. I hope you can see this. I'll count it out if you can't. All right, so now, we're comparing. All right, so let's see, what do we have on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six tenths, six tenths. Okay, and what do we have on this side? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight tenths. So we have six tenths, we have eight tenths. Which side has more? Well, this side has more, it has eight tenths. This side has less. So we have to make the symbol that says it's less. Remember, small, small, big, big, okay? So that's how you would do it. I hope this helps. If not, let me know and I will put up another video.